Hello everyone, welcome to Skyler.com. My name is Dr. Divan and the topic of the lecture today is pathogenesis of cancer. In this lecture, we're going to talk about how a cell, a normal cell, a normal functioning cell will is converted into a cancer cell. We're going to talk about very big, we're going to start at very basic level and we're going to build it from there. First of all, we're going to talk about phases of cell cycle in which we'll talk about these four phases, which includes G1, S phase, G2 phase and M phase. We're going to talk about which cells of the body go into G0 phase, which is a resting phase uh, for the rest of their lifetime. Next on, we're going to talk about how the cell cycle is regulated. For that, we're going to talk about cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases. We're going to talk about how cyclins regulate the cell cycle, which cyclins have a positive impact on the cell cycle. Among the cyclins, we're going to talk about which cyclins last for the whole cell cycle, which cyclins last for only one part of the cell cycle, which cyclins are more important for the cell cycle to go and move forward. And then we're going to talk about what cyclin dependent kinases are, how they are effective and which cyclin dependent kinases among all of them types are important to us. Next time we're going to talk about retinoblastoma protein. Before retinoblastoma protein, we'll talk about how the negative regulators of the cell cycle affect the cell cycle. We're going to talk about what retinoblastoma protein is, how it affects the cell cycle, how it stops the cell cycle at a checkpoint, and how does it stop the synthesis of the DNA. We're going to talk about uh, how retinoblastoma protein is regulated and in case uh, the problem has been resolved, the problem in the DNA has been resolved, how retinoblastoma protein lets go of the E2 effector and how does the synthesis begin again. Next time we're going to talk about DNA repair pathways. We're going to talk about which pathways lead to DNA repair. We're going to talk about which kind of mutations are there. We're going to talk about how those mutations are repaired. What's the mechanism behind the repair and knowing the mechanism which mutations will choose which repair pathway. Next time we're going to talk about oncogenes, how they are produced, how the proto-oncogene is converted to oncogene, what does an oncogene code for, how do we define oncogenes and how do they have an impact on a cell, uh, cell cycle. Next time we're going to talk about growth factor related signaling, how these growth factors which in, induce the growth and uh, deviation of the cells affect in the cell cycle and how the neoplasia might begin from the very start of growth factor related signaling. For watching the complete lecture and the variety of lectures, please subscribe to Skyrie.com. Thank you for watching.